What's up, everybody? Sam from Cubi Studios here, and we are back in another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels Expert Mode. This time, we're taking on Dr. Faker. I almost called him something else. Anyway, this guy looks like the Terminator. I have no idea what's going on with him, but he looks kind of crazy, so I'm assuming he's the antagonist of an arc. He's probably not a good guy, based on his appearance and the fact that his deck is called Dark World. Anything Dark World, probably not a good thing. So we're going to take him on. I'm using the Lavel deck this time, or at least I'm going to give it a shot for the first attempt here. Because I haven't used that deck in a long time, and I wanted to see if it's good or not. I really don't remember. Um, I think it's been months, probably, since I've used it. It's probably not that great, but we'll give it a shot. Because I don't know what this Dark World deck is like, so who knows if it will mistakenly... Maybe I will stumble into countering his deck. If not, we'll... I probably got something that'll work. Now, the goal of these expert mode videos is always to beat the opponent, like, keep it a short and sweet duel. So that way, I've got, like, one, like, medium-length video on the channel for you guys to watch that if you don't like my streams, you can check out Millennium Duel's expert mode for a short, sweet kind of video to watch, you know, if you don't have a couple hours to sit down and watch videos on YouTube. Oh my god, he's got Black Luster Soldier. But as you guys know, more often than not, I don't get that short and sweet victory. But that's always the goal. The last two have gone relatively quickly. Now, I want to try and continue that trend. Obviously, the match duels tend to be like over an hour, but I think we can probably beat this guy pretty soon. What is this? If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, special summon it. Neat. Now, the trick is I don't remember what my cards do. So, let's try and figure that out. If this card is in your graveyard and you have three or more lava monsters with different names in your graveyard, you can banish this card and one other lava monster to target one set card your opponent controls to destroy it. Neat. What's the attack of this monster? 1900. Oh, because it's got this this little spell card, field card out in the field. What is this? This looks powerful. Judgment Lord. Once per turn, you can banish one lava monster from your graveyard to inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. Judgment cannot declare an attack return this effect is activated. Lame. Ultimate Baseball Kid. I have this card and it's super lame. Why is it in this deck? This card gains a thousand attack for each face-up fire monster on the field except this card. You can send one fire, other face-up fire monster to the graveyard to inflict 500 damage. Blech. Well, we know what Marshmallow does. Lava Cannon. When this card is normal summoned, you can target one of your banished lava monsters and special summon it. I wonder if there are some cool effects I can activate from the graveyard. There must be a reason I want to discard them. Up to twice per turn, you can send one fire monster from your hand to the graveyard. Nope. This card is sent to the graveyard. If you have a lava monster in your graveyard, other than Lava Volcano Handmaiden, you can send one lava monster from your deck to your graveyard. That seems to be a recurring theme with this deck, is to burn my own deck. This card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflicts battle damage to your opponent. One of these must be special summoned from graveyard. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can send two lava monsters from your deck to the graveyard. When this card is sent to the graveyard, all lava monsters you control gain 300 attack. Okay, so that's a decent one to send. Lava Forest Sprite. When this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, all face of lava monsters you control gain 200 attack. This card is in your graveyard and you have three or more lava. Da, 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 da. Lance Lord. You can normal summon this card without tributing. If you do during the end phase, send it to the graveyard. When this card is on the field is destroyed, sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished fire monsters and add it to your hand. Burner. If you have three or more lava monsters with different names in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Hotel. If you have three or more monsters with different names in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Well, none of these things are doing really what I want them to do. Let's send... Um, one of these. What's the other one? When this card is sent to the graveyard, you currently control... Well, see, this isn't going to boost them yet. Let's get rid of these two, I guess. I don't really... There's nothing really I can do yet, because I'm not banishing stuff. Activate the effect of Lovel Volcano Handmaid in your graveyard. Yeah, let's do that. Select another card to send to the graveyard. Let's send a unique one. This will let me... I have three unique ones in the graveyard now already. But none of them are banished, so I can't activate this one's effect. So I think to play it safe for this first turn, what we'll do... If this card is in your graveyard and you have three more level monsters, you can banish this card. And one other card from your graveyard. Target one set. Yeah, well, that's got to go into the graveyard first. So I think to play it safe first turn, we'll just set Marshmallow, and that's always a good thing to do. Considering I've spent about 20 minutes rereading all of my card effects, let's just get to the point. Play it safe, set Marshmallow, and what is this? Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, and if you do... Hey, I like my cards banished. Oh, I don't like my cards being destroyed, though. That's rude. 
Dark World, 3,000 attack, and this is going to have 1,900 attack. Wow, 5,000 damage. Well, basically 5,000 damage in one go there, huh? Okay. Well, I have one banished card. Banish all lava monsters from your graveyard. I think we'll do just that. How many are in the graveyard right now? Two. Well, that does let me destroy two of these cards. Destroy any number of cards in the field up to the number of monsters banished for this card's effect activation. Yeah. So I'll summon you. Just so I can summon this guy. And then we're going to banish the two in the graveyard to destroy the two monsters on the field. Because that sounds like a good idea. I'll do that next turn. And we'll go to battle phase. We'll get rid of this one for now. What is this? Once per turn, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Discard one fiend type monster, and if you do, banish that target. See, I don't need to destroy this trap card because banished cards don't really phase me that much. So after I destroy this, I'll banish the two monsters and either get rid of this field card, definitely this one, and possibly one other monster if he summons one. It all kind of it'll all depend on what he does next turn. What card I get rid of with just plain blast. I won't activate it yet. I want to see if he summons something. Because if he gets another one of these, like, 3,000 attack monster guys out in the field. Just realized... Okay, by him banishing that, it's going to prevent me from activating that in one of the card. Select a card to destroy. We'll get rid of this. Once per turn, you can banish one fiend type monster from your graveyard. I think we'll get rid of... Because I don't care about Dark Smogs activating. I have... I can use banished cards. He can't. I also just force him to discard another card. Wow, we got that back out real fast, huh? That's fine. Oh, I can't summon this next turn, can I? Which sucks, because it has the right amount of attack. Damn it. What do I have in my graveyard that's useful right now? Nothing? This card is sent to the graveyard for Synchro Summon. You can special summon this card. You must have three or more lava monsters with different names in your graveyard to activate and resolve this effect. Well, I don't. Do I have a level 5 Synchro in this deck? 6, 2, 6, 5. I do. You can shuffle two lava monsters into your graveyard into your deck to target one card to your opponent controls and return it to the hand. That's an okay effect. I think I'm kind of out of options other than to do that. What is this one? Wait. This card gains the effects based on the number of lava monsters in your graveyard. Two, once per turn, if this card attacks defense position monster, it can attack once again in a row. Okay, we want to go for this one. Nope, not that one. I would like that one, yes, but it's not that. It's not the one I'm looking for. One tuner, one or more non-tuner monsters. Fire monsters, okay. So I can get that one out of the field by summoning this guy. As long as I remember how these synchro monsters work. I think I do. You shuffle two monsters in your graveyard, which will be both of these anyway. This is the first time I've synchro summoned a monster in like forever. Select a card to be returned to the owner's deck. You go send both of these into the uh, back into the deck. Select cards to return to the hand. It's gonna be this one. It doesn't let me win, but it's definitely gonna help. I assume this thing dies next turn because I imagine. He can probably get that uh, monster back out, like, in a singular turn. That probably doesn't take him long at all, but it'll be nice to take off 2,000 life points from him. Oh, that puts two fire monsters in the graveyard, though. Now I can summon this, for sure, and just win. Oh, Look at that synergy. Unlocked the Dark World recipe. Well, as you can see, I've beaten Dr. Faker, and Vtrix is going to be the next opponent, but... My recording setup decided it only wanted to record my webcam for the second half of the duel, which is great, because I really wanted to duel Dr. Faker again. There's no anime bullshit happening here. I'm not getting stronger off screen just so no one can see it, and then I just explained in the next duel, oh, by the way, I'm stronger now. You will see the process of my growth as I beat Dr. Faker on screen. I just got to re-record it now. What am I discarding? This thing. So he can special summon whatever the hell he's going to special summon, but I forgot a mirror force, so it doesn't matter. I always knock the special summon. Also, before people freak out in the comments, no, I didn't cut my hair. It's still long. It's just in a ponytail right now. Woo, look at that. I just didn't feel like getting my hair ready for the video because I'm recording early in the morning. Because what I normally do is I record my uh, the video, and then the next day 
I edit it at night. Because that's where I like to do my editing space, usually after work. But as I was editing it last night at midnight, I edited the first half of the video, and then I was watching, so I can see like where the recording camera is and then where the gameplay is. And then at about the eight minute mark, it just showed webcam, the rest of the video. And you could see me reacting to it where I was like, yeah, I won, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then nothing, so that was fantastic. All right, what are we doing here? You can banish this card from your graveyard. I'll face a lava monster's gain life points or something. Send two lava monsters from your deck to the graveyard. Okay. Let's do that. Ah, let's just send you two to the graveyard. Now I got three in the graveyard. I can't do anything about it. If this card is in your graveyard and you have three or more lava monsters with different names. Okay, so I should have discarded this one, actually. You can banish this card in one other lava monster. Because this guy would let me special summon a banished monster, but there is none to special summon. So what I'll do is I will just set Marshmallow for now. A classic decision. Just kind of have him buy time. Although I would think it's going to happen is it's going to su uh, summon that Dark World thing. The, well, it's got a Dark World deck. I mean, the, the bird or whatever the hell. Oh, well now I can special summon that next turn. It's going to summon the bird thing with like 2,700 attack. Yeah, this thing. I don't know what the fuck it's called. See a Marshmallow. And it's going to get special summoned. Oh, I had such an easy go of it last time <laughs> when I won. It was a short, simple duel. I won immediately. I can already see this is not going to have the same effect. Oh, maybe it is. I could get lucky. I still have Mirror Force. I was so easy. This lava deck actually, like, worked fantastically. Like, better than I could have possibly imagined, which was great. I can summon my banished monster now. Yes. Let's get you on the field. So never mind, I might still be okay. Because I got Fiendish Chain, so I can prevent some special summoning and destroy something right away. While possibly summoning another monster. Which will be great. I actually could probably get out one of my, uh... I think the level 8 Synchro Monster? I don't... I don't remember if you see any of my, uh, Synchro Summoning in the last video. In fact, this one... Knock on wood might actually end up being even a shorter video now. <laughs> I'll probably have to leave in the other duel. Just to keep this video, like, above 10 minutes. So I can actually monetize it. I mean, for your viewing enjoyment. Uh, Dark Smog was activated. Don't banish my lava monsters! Oh, I can't even fiendish chain this thing, because it's like, it's effects activated outside the graveyard. How unfortunate. Is he gonna... are you summoning stuff? You are. So now I'm going to activate Fiendish Chain on this, just because. I don't know if this stops the chain of special summoning, but at least it prevents it from attacking. Ah, shit. What I should have done is save Fiendish Chain for that, because it's the exact same situation now as it was in a couple minutes ago. Which is fantastic. Oh, we got two of them out! Fantastic! I wanted to duel this guy three more times. Great. I already used Mirror Force, too. I knew it was too easy. I knew it was too easy when I beat this guy in like 13 turns last time. I knew the video wouldn't record, and then every time I tried to duel him after, I would lose. Great! Well, even if I destroy one card on the field, there's still another one of these. And so it doesn't matter, because either one would finish up my life points. So I'll special summon it. I don't know, man. Put it in attack position, I can get rid of one of the monsters. I'll set this. Damn. Because he's going to get the third, um, what is this, Dragon Lord Dark World out next turn. You know he is. That's what the deck is designed to do, is to get those cards out. Yeah, here's Vanguard again. Let's see. Wait for it. He cycles through the three cards impressively fast each time. I will give him that. Now, nope. Okay, well. It didn't matter. He still has the other two to direct attack. I bet you this is recorded. I bet you the uh, capture card doesn't crash on this one. Now this would be a good time for people in the comments to let me know if they like me with shorter or longer hair now that they've kind of seen both in the video because I've been thinking about cutting my hair lately just because of the hassle that long hair is. So I would like to hear what you guys think in the comments. 
And also, I wonder if this guy gets harder after I've beaten him once in expert mode. Because after you beat someone once in expert mode, you get a different card reward. I wonder if that makes them harder. I would bet you it does. Also, let's play Swords we really like, because I don't have any good cards to play right now. And then I guess we'll just set one of these on the field for now, in case Swords of really like it's destroyed, because neither of these really do me any good. They're both Synchro Monsters. I guess I can get a level 7 one out next turn, if I summon Lava Cannon. But I really don't want to summon Lava Cannon without having monsters in the graveyard. Because I want um, to at least get the free special summon. Or not in the graveyard, I mean banished. I'm sure I can get one banished pretty soon here. This thing can't attack, but it has 2,000 attack already, which is nothing to shake a stick at. I think that's the experience. Oh, look at that! We now have... Can I banish cards from the field for this? From your hand and or graveyard. No, I can't. Okay. I'll just wait another turn. I'm actually pretty okay with waiting another turn for that. And then I can banish this one and another one. Use Lava Cannon to special summon another one. That's fine. This will work out. See? Look at that. Because now I can summon him. And then I'll do a cute little Synchro Summon. Banish... Let's go you and you. And then I wonder... Activate another card or effect. No. Maybe I can chain this into getting a, uh, like a much bigger Synchro Monster out. You succeed. Activate the effect of a card? No. Because it's asking me to activate this, I think. Oh, can I? Wait a minute. This 10 star, one dragon type tuner, or one non tuner dragon type monster. Oh, I probably can't get this out of that. Because it has to be a dragon type tuner, or more non tuner dragon type monsters. So I don't think that will work. Never mind. Because that would be. Those are 10 stars, but it's not. Yeah, okay, never mind. I got my hopes up. But here's what I can do instead I can get the level 7, and then maybe I'll grab the other synchro. No, because the other Synchro is level 2. And there is not... That's not going to let me look at this. Because these two will give me the level 7 Synchro, and then the level 2 would give me a level 9, but I need a level 8. So let's just get this guy instead. The special summon. Ah! Ha ha ha! Never mind. I don't get the free summon. I, wait, I spent all of this time trying to get the free summon on this dude for nothing. All that build-up. This card sent one. I have to discard one card for this summon, don't I? And that's quite unfortunate. Because uh, Forbidden Lance is good. What if I activate Forbidden Lance before it makes me discard? Yeah, let's just activate this, because then it can't make me discard it if there's nothing in my hand to discard. Hopefully it doesn't, like, die because I didn't discard a card. I'll get that's an extra 800 life points of damage to do. Whoop! Activate the effect of a card? No. Okay, I didn't die. Banish all lava monsters. Are there any lava monsters in my graveyard? Oh, there are. I'm gonna save this trap card, though, for when he has a useful card on the other side of the field. Because I can just destroy this. It doesn't mean anything. Uh, and I wouldn't win by a direct attack with these two anyway, so it's not a huge deal. Unless that face down card's mirror force, and then it is a mistake. It's not. Perfect. I'll get some solid damage here. And then also I can summon Blaster next turn if I don't have um, this on the... F or if I don't have... I still have two Flame Monsters in the graveyard, so I can banish both of them instead of using Dust Flame Blast. And I'll only use Dust Flame Blast if he gets um, the Dragon back out on the field. I forget his name. I've seen it enough times now. I should point out that I've beaten Dr. Faker like three or four times, <laughs> but... The issue is that my capture card, I guess it's because it's old, I think it's like four years old now, it's starting to break, and so every, like, five minutes, it just kind of crashes and won't record anymore, which is really annoying. Call of the Haunted. Yes? Any number of cards on the field. Yeah, you know what, before that works, I'm gonna, I'll win this turn if I banish, uh... Oh, there's only one to destroy. Okay, never mind. We'll just do call of the. We'll just get rid of call of the haunted. Yes. Well, wait, no, 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 no. I'm celebrating too early. I don't have a way to summon that now. Or do I? Is there another fire monster in the graveyard? There's not. Oh, that's so frustrating. Whatever. I'll just destroy this face down one, and then hope um, next turn that I can get a way to summon him. 
And I can keep nothing on the field. Because he Laval Stenen at least can't be... Okay, by using Pot of Duality, I at least guarantee that he's not going to special summon anything this turn. That's important. That means Dragon Lord can't come out this turn now that he's used Pot of Duality, which gives me another uh, opportunity to win here. I will take any opportunity at this point. Okay, he might just special summon that. He's going to have the tools to get Dragon Lord out next turn, not this one. Now I have the two Dragon Monsters I need. Let's see. I'm so close to winning, but just not close enough each time. If I discard... Wait. Hang on. Actually, we'll use this effect to destroy that monster, and then I can direct attack with, uh... Destroy one card on the field. Okay, never mind. I think we'll win if I do this, right? Select a card and destroy. If I destroy this... This doesn't negate the effect, though, does it? Oh, and it being banished should give me another card, right? As long as that doesn't go onto the field, I win here. Oh, it's like a race against the clock, because I can just feel my capture card being like, mm, we're gonna get, we're gonna stop working. No, I, I'm not beating him like for a fifth time, man. This didn't, or whatever. I don't care. I was gonna say it didn't bring my cards to the in back into the graveyard, even though I've got maybe they're not pyro. I don't care. Duh! For the fucking third time, I've beaten Doctor Faker. This time, it looks like it's actually captured. Knock on wood, please don't jinx it. What cards did I win this time? It doesn't look like I got anything special. I think after you beat him twice, I think the game kind of gives up on giving you fancy. Or after you beat him more than twice, and the game gives up on giving you fancy cards in expert mode. Because this game just refuses to give you cards easily. Whatever. Let's look at what I got. I got Guardian of the Labyrinth. A monster that guards the entrance to the Netherworld. <whistles> look at that. Conestellar Albaranian. When this card is normal summoned, you can special summon one level 3 Conestellar monster from your hand. I already have a bunch of those, I think, because I have a Conestellar deck. Graveyard and the Hand of Invitation. A graveyard that serves as a power source for zombies. Why doesn't it have an effect, then, that, like, boosts the attack of zombie monsters? Why doesn't it do anything with the graveyard? See, Konami needs to re-release these cards, man. Fire King Avatar grounds. Gar 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 Unix. If a face-up Fire King monster you control is destroyed by a card effect, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or card effect, and sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one Fire King Avatar monster from your deck. Guardian Sphinx. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flip summoned, return all monsters your opponent controls to the hand. Phantom Beast Thunder Pegasus. What a cool name. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can remove from play this card from your graveyard to make the battle damage taken by one Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beasts, or Phantom Beast Monster, zero. When this happens, that monster is not destroyed by battle. It's a very specific effect. Vice Berserker looks cool. Please be a cool effect. This card is sent to the graveyard as a Synchro Material Monster. Inflict 2,000 damage to the player that Synchro summoned. Psych Out, and the Synchro Monster that used this card as a Synchro Material Monster gains 2,000 attack until the end phase. Nope, it sucks. Amulet of Ambition. Equipped only to a normal monster. If it battles a monster with higher level, the equipped monster gains 500 attack times the difference in level. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can return it to the top of the deck. Hopefully that only applies when it has a, low, a higher level. I'm assuming it probably does. Swift Guy of the Fierce Knight. If this is the only card in your hand, you can normal summon it without tributing. Yeah, see, you don't get a fancy card if you beat... After you beat him twice, the game goes, ah, you don't get any more cool cards. What the hell? Man. See, why didn't you give me number 90... Or what is that, number 92? Oh my god, do I need glasses? That cool dragon-looking card. That would have been sweet. You didn't want to give me that? You didn't give, have... You don't have any fancy cards left for me. Whatever. Uh, this is my typical outro. I'm kind of frustrated. I'm salty now, not even because Dr. Faker was hard, but I'm frustrated with my hardware. I'm going to have to probably buy a new one of these before we can actually finish up Millennium Duels. Because I wanted to finish it up soon, but now it's a race against the clock for my capture card to actually keep working. Uh, I'll have to look into it. I don't know why it's working. I have an HD PBR 2 Gaming Edition, but I've had it for like four years. It's what I've recorded all of Expert Mode on and then some. 
so it kind of makes sense that the thing's fading. Um, I mean, it's super old, so it's been a reliable piece of technology for a while. I'll figure it out, though. We will be finishing Expert Mode, Worry You Nots. Tune in next time as we take on Vtrix. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to leave comments below. Now that you've actually seen me with short hair again in this video, let me know if I should cut the hair or if I should keep it. What you get, Whatever you guys think. I appreciate it. Also, you can comment about the duel and stuff, because, I mean, I guess that's what we're here for. <laughs> like the video. Check out the links in this. I already said that. Support me on Patreon, so that way I can afford to buy a new capture card so I can finish up Expert Mode. And then maybe we'll figure out some next steps for the channel after uh, we beat this series. Like the video as well. Share. Hopefully I can hit 10k subscribers before the year is over. I'm still looking to do that. But above all else, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Unsuspecting. That seems like it did way more than 5 damage, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, there was another guy there that I didn't see.